एवरीवन वेलकम टू लॉ सीखोस थरो न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस फॉर 10th फेब 2023 स्टार्टिंग विद द एडिटोरियल सेक्शन ऑफ टुडे सेशन इंडिया मस्ट अवॉइड ग्रोइंग इनटू डायस्टोपिया फ्रॉम द हिंदू सेंट्रल बैंक्स 200 बेटिंग लेंडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स व्हाट इज सेक्शन 69 ए of the information technology act one of the very important editorial section of today's session followed by the news update and the legal news now coming up to the editorial part india must avoid growing into a dystopia while the indian budget for the year 2023 was celebrated as a budget that would drive income majority of the people seem to have missed the fact that income should not be the only standard of evaluating the pros of a budget the prime minister target of making india a 5 trillion economy two seems to be a distant dream for presently one that will not be reached within the time that it was aimed for government data show that in mid 2022 unemployment among urban males was much higher than it was a decade ago data from the center of monitoring indian economy private limited suggests that the number of people employed in december 2022 was less than it was in 2016 very strange data this means that the economic growth of india did not necessarily improve the employment of the country being an agrarian economy and taking into consideration the core out of little education and skills increased demand for goods of mass consumption alone will lead to an expansion of employment opportunities our experience of the past decade suggests that india could well grow fast over the next decade and a half without generating sufficient employment for the region of unemployed youth especially in rural areas now one of the important article for the today's session is about what 69a of the information technology act is all about and why it is in news Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has issued orders that block 94 money lending apps and 138 online betting platforms. The same is to be affected in an urgent and an emergency basis, and was based on the recommendation made by the Ministry of Home Home Affairs on the matter. This is the result of an investigation into the complaint raised on harassment calls after small sums were borrowed often at high and exorbitant interest rates. Section 69A of the Information Technology Act, one of the important sections of the particular act, allows the government to issue content blocking orders to internet service provider. In the landmark ruling of 2015. Shreya Singhal versus Union of India one of the important judgments of the honorable supreme court wherein the provisions of section 66a was struck down the supreme court held that the provision of 69a were constitutionally valid this is because firstly it can only be exercised by the central government and second the restriction is only imposed to certain subjects under article 192 guys do let me know in the comment section what article 192 talks about coming up to the news update for the today's session gaganyaan one of the proud moments for india isro and navy star trials for crew module recovery the koji facility can simulate different sea state conditions environmental conditions and a day or night conditions the space agency said the trials would provide valuable input for utilizing the recovery accessories feedback will also be taken from the recovery teams and trainers to improve the recovery options design any necessary needed and finalize the training plan coming up to the second news update pt usha chairs rajya sabha session this came as house chairman and vice president jagdeep dhankar was absent for the proceeding earlier in the day he is the first nominated member to have achieved this feat thirdly rbi hike repo rate by 25 basis point to 6.5% the repo rate at which the rbi lands to bank was raised 25 basis point to 6.5% the highest in nearly 5 years the latest hike comes in the backdrop of retail inflation cooling down to a 10 12 month low of 5.72% in december 2022 fourth 
center sets up committee to prepare draft digital competition bill one of the need of an hour is overhauling of the competition law and we are happy with the news the committee will review whether existing antitrust laws in the country are equipped to deal with the challenges that have emerged from the digital economy and submit to the government a draft digital competition act within three months. The next news update for the day is G20 Environment and Climate Sustainability met in Bangalore. The three-day meet is hosted by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and will be chaired by Lena Nandan, Secretary, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The G20 delegates are scheduled to visit the Kalkare Arbotum and Baner Ghata Biological Park in Bangalore. Sixth, Pakistan Navy to host 15 nations in maritime exercises. The regular maritime exercises are held every two years involving ships, aircraft and special operation forces from February 10 to 14. The next news update is a book launch uh, by Mr. Salman Rajdi, new novel, Victory City. It tells the story of the scholars and the poet who dreams a civilization into existence from the magic seeds. Inspired by the real life history of Vijayanagara, a once flourishing medieval Hindu kingdom in South India, Rajdi set out to reimagine its collapse as a feminist fable about the lust of power and the power of stories. Lebron James became NBA's all time leading scorer. LeBron James became the all-time leading scorer by passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. James sank a 21-foot turnaround with 10.9 seconds left in third quarter at Crypto.com Arena, giving him 16 points in the period, the necessary 36 for the game and 38,388 for his illustrious career, now more than any other player in NBA history. Coming up to the legal updates for the day is Bar Council of India has power to prescribe all India bar examination. Held by Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Bar Council of India versus Boney, Foy, Law College and others. A constitutional bench upheld the power of the Bar Council of India in prescribing the law graduates to pass AIB in order to practice law. Doing so, the decision in the case of V. Sudhir versus Bar Council of India 1999 was overruled. Coming up to the last legal update for the day is pending inquest proceeding under Section 174 CRPC. No bar for magistrate to order registration of FIR was held by Jammu and Kashmir Ladakh High Court in the case of Rahul Kumar and others versus Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. The bench held that a case may be registered for investigation by lodging of FIR on the receipt of information about the commission of cognizable offence without having to wait for a conclusion of inquest proceeding initiated under Section 174 CRPC. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you, guys. Take care.